Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Review today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Today's beer, guys, uh, we're going to wrap up the beer route package I got from Parade Brewing. Uh, this is their ultraviolet colors. And according to the letter that I got here, we did the colors IPA the other day. This is ultraviolet colors, double IPA. So this is an 8.3 percenter with 27 IBUs and has a canned on date of 2-11 of 22 February the 11th uh, so very colorful artwork on this so uh, looks to me like it's got a ladies touch to the label with a little swirly swirl so and like I said the other day uh, uh, the good news for us is Pariah now has a brewery operation here on the East Coast Got one in San Diego and got one here in Baltimore, Maryland now. So, uh, with Brian and Krista uh, seemingly doing very well, and that's awesome to me. Uh, maybe Brian's running the West Coast and Krista's doing the East Coast because uh, the letter I've got here, uh, the box of the beers, the letter came in, uh, had uh, uh, Krista's name on the top of the label. So, I'm just assuming uh, she's. Uh, got something to do with the East Coast operation because there's nothing here on the letter stating that but again great news for us on the East Coast uh, uh, be able to get our hands on these beers and hopefully the distribution footprint will be big enough uh, everybody can get your hands on some of this awesome stuff so again thank you again Brian and Krista uh, continued much success to both of you too and thanks for the awesome beer my package you continue to send to me you guys rock uh, Alright, this is a new release, guys, evidently, uh, uh, I told you the, I told you the ABV and IBUs and where they're located at, uh, and the commercial description here is the same as on the back of the can, so I'm going to read it from here, since it's a little easier for me to read. It says, Holy, we're five years old. To mark this revolution around the sun for our little company, we wanted to brew something bright, big, and hoppy. Ultraviolet Colors is a pride double IPA with an immense quality of some of our favorite American and New Zealand hops in pellet, liquid, and cryo formats. A grist heavy and oats provides a fluffy foundation for uh, the concentrated orange kind of mango and fruit striped gum characteristics to shine over. This is a special treat indeed. We are thrilled to share it with you on behalf of Team Para. Thank you. Here's to many more. And uh, looks like looks like a New England style in the glass. Uh, depending on the lighting, guys, I don't know what this is going to look like. It looks like it's a little lighter in color, like maybe half and half orange juice, pineapple juice, or pineapple juice there. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, like I said, uh, uh, February 11th, and I'm reviewing it on the 27th couple weeks old so it doesn't get much fresher than that and again uh, these cans are pre-printed uh, I don't see any heat shrunk label or anything on it uh, that's on there so they've had these cans printed up so anyway uh, let's find out what it's about here guys so, uh, all you cats that's uh, in the Baltimore vicinity uh, y'all have y'all chance to go to a brewery that's going to produce some very tasty New England style beers because uh, they do. I'm just hoping the footprint's big enough now that they're on the Eco so that I can get them here in the Roanoke Valley. So, ultraviolet colors. Two fingers ahead on that, guys. Uh, yeah, not bright orange juice, but hazy enough to be considered a New England style to me. Looks pretty good in the glass. I'm nice. Uh, decent looking double IPA for the New England style. What do you think, hmm? HG beer, I bet. To the nose we go. Oh, yeah. 
Right, the American and New Zealand hops. So basically they're saying the same thing for the Colors IPA as they have for the Ultraviolet. So they're going with the American and New Zealand hops. And they're using a lot of different formats with the pellet liquid and cryo. Citrusy, orange, maybe some mango in there. The aromas are not off the chain, but they're they're decent and they're present and they're there. I'm not blowing my hair or my socks back. I mean, I've had some ten beers from this brewery. Well, let's find out. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Krista. Cheers, Brian. Wishing you guys very much continued success. It's awesome news to me that you're here on the East Coast now. So, I might have to come see you over in Baltimore. Cheers. Oh man, that is tasty. I'm definitely getting the presence of the New Zealand hops. I mean, to me, and this is the way my palate interprets it, you may interpret it a little different. Because everybody's taste buds are different. But to me, it, I, I'm getting, I'm getting a hint of the mango and I, I'm getting the, the intense hop from the different types of hops that they've used, not in, I shouldn't say types, or uh, the, the formation pellet liquid and cryo that, that they've used so a pretty intense uh, I would like them for, us, for them to tell me now that we use this hop this hop and this hop uh, to achieve what I'm tasting here so I can tell and I can associate those flavors with different hop profiles so uh, I would kind of like to know that but very very tasty I mean uh, definitely a winner uh, this may be a 10 beer this may not be a tin beer. What I consider a tin beer might not be your tin beer. And what your tin beer is might not be my tin beer. So early for I don't think we're gonna get anything out of the bottom of the can. But we do that just in case and it looks pretty damn good on camera there, don't it? That's a good looking beer right there. Of course, you know, if I was point paying for it in the pub, I would probably want the beer up where the top of the head is instead of having all that, but nah. We ain't gonna work. We ain't gonna, I don't know about all that. So anyway, we're gonna go sip on the guys. It's a tasty beer to me. I mean, if you can get your hand on some of those beers uh, from this brewery, now they're on the East Coast. Check them out. It's gonna be a lot easier for us to get our hands on them now. I'm gonna go sip on it. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Been sitting on it for a while. Nice slice of gets left on the glass. I mean, not super heavy, but very nice. I mean, it's quite a bit on there. Tasty beer, guys. New England style beer. I mean, and these guys, Brian and Crest has got it going on. Now they're on both sides of the coast. East Coast and West Coast. Awesome news for us. Very tasty double IPA. 8.3%, uh, 27 IBU, so it ain't bitter, very easy drinking, very smooth, very tasty. Final chug. And, uh, you know, it, it's saying it's American and New Zealand. I get the spicy notes. Uh, I don't know what American hops are, they're talking about. It says heavy in oats. It's got a nice smooth mouthfeel. Orange, yeah. Cantaloupe, maybe. Uh, mango, definitely. And fruit stripe gum, uh, not so much there. Man. Maybe you can do that. I mean, evidently somebody's getting they wouldn't they wouldn't put it. So they've got somebody telling them that's what it tastes like. So, uh, Maybe you can get that. I'm not getting the fruit stripe gum, but it's been quite a few moons since I've had a piece of that in my mouth. So, anyway, <laughs> guys, uh, this it's a tasty beer. Uh, Ninety-four, almost to the solid A category. The 
upper end of the A minus category, guys. Uh, super tasty beer. Uh, over to well, if I can get the mouse, well, the computer's not working now. Imagine that. Like I tell you guys all the time, electronics. Yeah, the mouse is froze up. <laughs> not doing anything here. Well, I guess we're locked up. So I ain't going to get to tell you what Bear Abaca says because they won't let me go over. To me, guys, like I said, I'm giving it 94 upper end of the A minus range. Untapped has it at 4.15, which is also in their A minus range. I think my grade is a little higher than what they're giving it, but only 103 people. With that being said, with 103 people, I would say Beer Africa doesn't have a rating. It's not on there. So we probably didn't waste a whole lot of time jumping over there, even though the computer said, Computer's telling me, don't go there. They ain't nothing over there, so it's because it's not letting me go over there. Uh, and, and that's probably the case. So, anyway, this is a brand new addition from uh, Pariah Brewing. And now that they're on the East Coast, a lot of us lucky people, some more lucky than others, closer to the brewery, you're, you're going to be more lucky. So, hopefully, uh, it's a sign of good things to come from Pariah Brewing on the East Coast. So, if you've had this, the Ultraviolet Colors Double IPA, let me know what you think. I thought it was pretty tasty. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.